Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today let's discuss about an interesting topic on how we can combine multiple files and load the data into the Power BI. For this demo, I have prepared three scenarios. One is uh, products with same number of columns and the other one is products with different number of columns and the third one is product with different file types. So basically I have got uh, different data sets uh, for these three scenarios. So on the first scenario is products with same number of columns. So for this I have products SRC1 and products SRC2.xlsx. These are two Excel files. Let's open these files and see what's inside the data. So I have got six columns and ten records in the products SRC1 uh, source data. And I have got the same number of columns, six columns and 10 other different uh, records uh, in the second source products src underscore two dot xlsx. So let's go back, go to the Power BI desktop. And before that, let me copy the path to this scenario. I'll, to combine the files, I will go to get data and then click on files and the folder. So our full source data is in this folder. So I have to choose file and folder. When I click on connect, it asks me for the path. So I give the path and click OK. So this is going to open the number of files inside the folder. If you see here, there are two files which are with dollar sign. So that's because my Excel files are open. So let me close these files and then cancel. Go back to get data. Those are the temporary files which will be opened, uh, which will be created when a file is opened. So let me go click on the connect here and then give the path. So now it should load the two files only from this folder. So for combining the data, I click on combine and transform data here. So it will allow me to transform the data. Like I can add more columns transformations into this before I load the data. So when before combining, it gives me an option to select the sample file. So the sample file is the first file by default. That is the products src1.xlsx. And I can choose uh, either of the files. So if we have multiple files, if it is first file, then the first file will be taken as a sample file. I can either choose the first file, second file, third file, or the nth file based on number of how many how many number of files we have. So for this, I leave it at first file because it doesn't matter to me, and it has got both both the uh, source files has got six columns. So this is a preview of the data from the first file. Okay, when I click OK, so this is going to load the data from the two files and show it to me. Okay, I click on transform data to get this power query editor. So if you see here, we had six columns in the source files, but here there is there are seven columns because product ID name product number make flag finished goods, uh, finished goods flag and source are from the source files, the data from the source files. But Power BI has added one more column to identify which source this data is from. That is actually it is taking the file name products src1.xlsx and products src2.xlsx. So if you see here, we have got 10 records from each of the from each of the source files. So we have got 20 records in total. OK, so when when the source files we specified has the same number of columns this is how it behaves and this is the default behavior so let's go to the scenario 2 before that i'll not save any changes here and i'll discard all the changes from here as well and i go to the 
second scenario so the second scenario is i have taken the products src2 from the previous scenario the same data and i have another source products src3 let's take a look into products src2 and 3 what what is the data present we have got six columns right and 10 records in the products src2 if i go to source 3 products src3 i have got eight columns and 10 different records okay so now the the source of the source has two files and the two files doesn't have the same number of columns okay let me close these two files and go to get data and click on file folder file folder and give the location for the source files okay we have got two files combine and transform data it's evaluating the query once it is done i will choose the first file as a sample file i leave it as default okay so this is the preview of the data from the first file i click on ok so <clears throat> go to transform data and you see here we have got seven columns one two three four five six and this is the additional column added by power bi so what happened now we had six columns in this in in the src2 and eight columns in the src3 so when we chose the first file that is the src2 as the sample data file so it actually took the six columns and also matched the six columns with the source 3 and loaded the data into the power bi okay so let's see what happens if we do the other way around before that i'll discard these changes and go to get data file folder connect i give the same location click ok now instead of choosing the first file as the sample file i will choose the src3 as the sample file so when i choose src3 as a sample file this is going to preview the data from the sample file uh, src file 3 and if you observe color and safety stock level are the two additional columns from the src 3 file when i click ok so let's see what happens in this case so it's evaluating the data it's loading the data to the power bi click on transform query and it opens up the power query editor now it has got nine columns product id name product number make flag finished goods flag color safety safety stock level and source these are the eight columns from the source three and this is an additional column source dot name added by the power bi so what happened in this scenario when it was loading source two file which did not had the color and safety stock level it has added nulls to these two columns because the sample file we chose was the src3 so that means src2 doesn't have those two columns and by default it will populate nulls to these two columns yeah and when it was loading the source 3 it is loading the actual values from the file all right so this is how the uh, behavior will be uh, when you want to combine the files which has different set of columns
okay before going to the scenario 3 i'll discard all these changes discard changes okay it's discarded so let me go to scenario 3 so this scenario is uh, to do with different file types what happens if i try to load uh, the data of, of different file types will it actually load let's take a look at it so let me open this let's see what inside this is the file from the first scenario we have got six columns and 10 records and we have got the same number of columns six columns and 10 records if you closely observe this is the same data except for a small change the source is src1 and here the source is src4 this is because to identify the difference okay let's go to the power bi and load this data and see if it actually works or what what does power bi has to give back to us get data file folder connect now i'll give the path to this third scenario data files and when i click ok this is going to show me the two files in the folder location xlsx and csv when i click on combine and transform data what happens so it's doing the transformation did it work let's take a look at it okay let's say sample file as the first file that is the xlsx file and it's showing the preview of the xlsx file click ok and once the transformation is done let's open the power query editor okay so it has loaded the source file one xlsx we have got 10 records right sorry 11 rows and seven columns because we had six columns in the source file one add additional column and the 11th record this is where the uh, the src4 file was loading so it gave an error so what does it say it says the external table is not in the expected format this is because the file types are different here one is the csv file and the another one is the xlsx file so let's see if it uh, you might be thinking what we do the other way around choose the uh, csv as the uh, the sample file let's go here get data file folder and the same location now instead of choosing the first file during the combine and transform the sample file I will choose the src4 file so this again says the external table is not in the expected format so this is because of the file uh, file type difference okay so this is not happening let's cancel this and go to the scenario here the data I'll delete the xlsx file and I'll copy paste the csv file so now we have the same file type let me do a, a minor change here into the file I'll say underscore copy to make the difference and save the file so let me take this folder path get data files folder connect 
and the part to the source file. So we have two CSV files. Let's combine and transform. So now this is going to give us a different screen altogether because this is a CSV file. So well, you can see the same number of columns what you saw in the actual source files. Whether it doesn't matter whether I select the first file or the second file or the nth file because it has the same number of columns. And so let me keep it as default to the first file and click OK once the preview it's evaluating the preview. So OK, it's done. Let me click OK. I have kept the sample file as first file. Click OK. Now this is loading the data into the Power BI. OK, click on transform data. We have got data from the two CSV files. We have got 20 records, seven columns, six columns from the file and one column added by the Power BI. So this is how you combine the files and load the data into the Power BI. This comes handy in real time scenarios. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.